Uh, not that I need to apologize to anyone for me being myself and for me being real, but I want to apologize because in my first video, I often uh, think of a thought, I have a thought, and then I don't complete it because what happens is I often tell a story or my rationale for the thought, and then I, uh, you know, I don't complete it. So, um, the thought was, uh, I took the, the, the Myers-Briggs actual one back in 04, uh, when I was uh, starting out, uh, well, I actually started my associate's degree in 02, but this was toward the end of getting my associate's in 04, and I took it, and I was thinking of my best friend, it was ENFJ. I took it again in 06, and uh, that was to be a tutor uh, at MSJC, and I think it was ESFJ or ESTJ. Um, and you need to be careful with the Myers-Briggs because it is self-reporting. There is no right or wrong answer. This is not an Asperger syndrome thing. This is a human thing. Uh, you tend to look at a test and you'll say, oh, I don't know. Do I do that? Well, I, I don't know. Hope not. Oh, my goodness. And whatever you believe to be good or bad or uh, whatever you believe uh, is a, a good trait or a good thing to do, you're going to base your, um, your test results on that. And you need to be very careful because if you uh, base things on what what you think you really do and you don't really do it, your test results are coming out different. And that's um, and you can't think of someone else. You need to think of yourself. If you think of someone else, it's going to come out uh, their personality type and not yours. And that's what happened in the first case. Um, and I verified my findings with my friend, uh, like I said, uh, uh, about uh, six months ago or maybe, maybe it was a year ago now, uh, verified it. Mm. Guest, I said, I think you're an ENFJ, and she said, yeah. Um, but um, uh, the um, the history of the Myers Briggs is interesting because um, the, I guess scientists, I don't know who shut them down, but it's uh, the names of the ladies are um, Isabel Briggs Myers and her mother Catherine Briggs shut down because apparently. Um, it could be scientifically proven that people do have 16 different personality types. And um, um, you can go to www.similarminds.com. That is not the actual Myers-Briggs. It's based on the Myers-Briggs, but it's not the actual Myers-Briggs. And um, Myers-Briggs also goes into Carl Jung, J-U-N-G. Uh, and uh, there's another website you can go to to take the mock Myers-Briggs. And um, if you want the real one, you're going to have to go to a community college. And I don't know about now, but it was $15 back in 04. Could be 30 now. I don't know. Um, okay. So now let me get into um, the actual um, information. I don't think I went over this in part one. If I did, forgive me. Um, there are mental orientations and there's uh, mental processes. The SN is uh, sensing and intuition. The TF is thinking and feeling. Uh, that's the mental processes. And the uh, mental orientation is IE, introvert, extrovert, and JP, judging and perceiving. Just because you're judging doesn't mean you're a judgmental person. It's, that's not what it means. Um, and interestingly enough, uh, with the I and E, it kind of is a duality with me um, because and I hope this video processes, this is the third time I'm doing it, um, with me, I think I'm an extrovert because I feel very comfortable when I'm talking to people, uh, and, and I feel comfortable, um, uh, when I know a subject, I feel comfortable, but of course, you know, anybody that knows a subject very well is going to feel probably comfortable talking about it, and of course, again, with the subject of, of Asperger syndrome, uh, many a times people do not or uh, cannot uh, perceive when someone is not interested in in the conversation. It's usually one way, and I notice that, that that's like that with me. And uh, maybe someone that has a little bit more social training can see the signs. Hey, this person's really not interested in what I'm saying. But of course, when you're giving a presentation, those people listen and you talk. And um, I noticed that uh, when I'm giving presentations, um, you know, I like to know my subject. I research my subject front and back so I know it upside down, right, left, everything. And uh, before and after my presentation, I'm self-critical. 
not during, you know, some people will say, oh, I can't get up there and present, I'm so scared, I get weak in the knee, and, and I'm sweating, and I stutter, and blah, 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 blah. Well, you know, I don't really do that. I, I get self-critical before and after. Before, I'm like, come on, hurry up, let's go. I'm very anxious. I want to get up there. I want to present because I know, I, I know my stuff. It's my time to shine. And when I'm done, oh, did I do this? Did I say that? Oh, I forgot this. Oh, I forgot that. Oh, man, I look like this. Oh, I didn't say this. And I keep on hitting myself over the head because because I was in the moment. And again, if you, um, it's either, I can't remember the book this is in, it's an illustration, it's a picture cartoon illustration, and it's either in Uta, I think her name's Uta Firth, or Firth, or I don't know, if you know anything about, if you research autism, if you research Asperger's Syndrome, you're going to know who, who I'm talking about. She writes a book on autism. It's either her book, or Kids in the Syndrome Mix, and it's a little picture of a boy, a cartoon character in a boat. In a in an ocean or a, or in a lake or well not a lake but an ocean well a river a river and he's in it and he's living in the moment he's like yeah I'm here I'm blah, 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 blah. but if he looks ahead he'll see there there that the river ends and it goes down but uh, with me I notice I live in the moment I often do not think what are the repercussions of my actions okay it's 9:15 at night right now I am right now living in the moment. But if I continue making all these videos tonight, which I probably won't, uh, but if I do continue, uh, it could happen that, you know, one of the dogs will pee. It could happen that, you know, hey, Sandra, if you weren't on YouTube so much that one night back then, you would have got A, B, C, D, E, F, G done, you know, but you didn't, you were on YouTube, and you were living in the moment, and that's that. And, uh... There's nothing per se wrong with living in the moment, but sometimes you need to come out of that and say, what are the repercussions of this and this and this? You need to think about that. And with me, I notice I often don't do that. But with the presenting, I think I'm more of an extrovert because I do like to talk. And I do like to listen. I do like to find other people's point of view. But with the introvert, I know that I need... To, to come away from people, be away from people, and, 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 and collect my thoughts and, and recharge uh, by myself. Uh, if you remember a couple months back in early 09, El Pollo Loco was giving away free chicken on a Tuesday night, or Tuesday, I don't know, May or March, but one of those, it was like 27th, 28th. And my, mom's my mom's day off was Tuesday, that's her Saturday. And this particular week, I got ads that I feel the ads in, in the mail is junk. So I don't read it. And this particular day, uh, my mom wanted Subway. I did not want a Subway sandwich. Uh, I didn't feel like having a Subway sandwich. Uh, it wasn't appealing to me this particular day, so I wanted El Pollo Loco. Why, I don't know I wanted El Pollo Loco, because I hardly ever go there. And I went there, and in my mind, I'm thinking, what is all this? people here. It's like going around the corner outside. I thought, well, there must be hiring. It's low unemployment. Maybe all these people want jobs. And this one particular guy said, no, they're giving away free chicken. And I said, are you kidding me? Nobody gives away free chicken. What are you talking about? He said, what are you, an idiot or something? You live in a cave or something? And I'm like, no. And I flipped out and everything. That's another post or another video. But, you know, just because somebody doesn't read an ad or chooses to throw ads away because they think it's junk mail does not mean you live in a cave. It just means, hey, I don't want the junk mail. Get rid of it. It's just papers. I don't need more papers in the house sitting around. Get rid of that junk. And that's what it is. It, it, penny saver. It's junk. I don't want it. Um, so, um, you know, um, there were so many teenagers, so many kids that were so loud. I had to get away from them. It was like, it was almost like I wanted to put duct tape over their mouth because they were so loud. It was like, shut up. All of you were talking at one time. Shut up. <laughs> you know? And, and, and that's the way I felt. I had to get away. I had to remove myself from the group. Um, and, and that's the interesting thing with the IE. It depends on the situation of, of am I an I or am I an E. But without the AS thing going on, I think I'm more of an extrovert. Hopefully this will process and I can go on to the next one.